Welcome to another Healthy Gamer episode. I am the Healthy Gamer, and if you stick around till the end of this video, you'll gain a plus 37 resist to beer gut. I'll be trying out a new format again for this video. I've decided that if the healthy tips are short, I'll keep them at the beginning, and if they run long, I will move them to the end. Let me know how you like this. So in this video, I'm really excited to show you a solo build I've used. I call it the Lasers Pew 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 build. It's a lot of fun. You get to shoot really high damage lasers around. You have really good survivability, and you put out a ton of DPS. So far, it's my favorite, favorite solo build for farming Act 1, uh, doing butcher runs. And now a quick healthy tip for you. Homemade guacamole is a wonderful snack, and it's really easy to make. It's packed with nutrients. It's really a great energy food, and all you do is take an avocado, slice it in half, scoop out the contents, and mash it up in a bowl, add some salsa to it, and then you can eat that with crackers, with tortilla chips, um, in a tortilla, kind of like as a guacamole taco. You can do all of those things. It's so fast and easy. I highly recommend doing that as a quick snack. I'll show you my important equipment and stats, and then we'll get into the build. I'm sitting at 12.04 dexterity, 8.04 vitality, which is 28k hit points. My damage unbuffed is 12.695. I have 54.85% resist all. When I run my mantra, it's 59.32% resist all. My armor mitigation is 62.51%. And then my magic find is plus 69%. And now I'll show you the build and talk about why I chose the skills I chose for this. So the primary um, thing I'm going for in this build is high DPS, and secondary is survivability. My other DPS video I showed you uh, with running the mantra of conviction is really good DPS, but if you don't have really great gear, it's kind of hard to survive even in Act 1. And so I decided to make this build to try to keep that DPS high still, but also to give you a little bit more survivability, and I think this is a good compromise. So my primary attack is Way of the Hundred Fist with the Ruin um, that every third attack deals 250% weapons damage in a straight line laser. And this is pretty massive damage, and you'll see I get some pretty crazy crits, like 30 to 40k crits with this. My secondary uh, is Sweeping Wind with the Blade Storm Ruin. My focus is Mystic Ally with the Fire Ally rune. And so I chose Sweeping Wind and Mystic Ally because they're two great skills that give you kind of passive DPS without you having to constantly spend spirit. I try to save all of my spirit for my defensive abilities. And so that just gives you more survivability. So if you need to, you can pop Mantra of Healing, you can pop a Breath of Heaven, pop a Serenity if you need it. And so, yep, those are my three next skills. Serenity with a four-second bubble. Breath of Heaven with a rune that increases attacks for 15% for 45 seconds. And then Mantra of Healing, increasing my resistances to all by 20%. And then Transcendence, Seize the Initiative, and One with Everything. So you can find this build uh, linked in my description. And I also have a transcript of this video on my website at thehealthygamer.com. And now I'll show you some gameplay footage of this build in action. I start my fights off by activating my sweeping wind ability and making sure my uh, fire ally is up. And then you also want to make sure that the heal, uh, the 15% damage buff from your heal is up. I don't know why I have so much trouble remembering what that name of that skill is. So I'll just keep calling it the heal thingy and hopefully you know what I'm talking about. This build is really simple for you to play because there's only four main abilities that you're using uh, a lot. The other two are kind of, you hit it and then you forget about it. And so, you know, you got your primary attack, and that's pretty self-explanatory. You should be using that all the time. And then you have your bubble, which you should use kind of, you know, in your oh shit situations. And I also like to use it a lot proactively. So rather than running away from fire or laser beams, or the Frost Novas, I'll just pop my bubble and be good to go. Your big heal, uh, the big heal thingy, <laughs> you know, obviously pop that when you need a heal, but also pop that so that you keep that 15% buff refreshed on you. And then the mantra of healing, I like to hit to just dump spirit, 
I can keep myself topped off at full health, and it's also really good to use to heal yourself up whenever your other cooldowns are on cooldown. That doesn't make any sense. Whenever your other heals and invulnerabilities are on cooldown. So it's a really fun, straightforward, kind of mindless build to use, and I just love it when I'm farming solo. I have no trouble staying alive, I melt through mobs, and it's a lot of fun to use. Did I mention that it's fun? And if someone from Blizzard happens to be watching, take note. People like to kill shit, they don't like to stack resist. And thank you for watching. Everyone has been so wonderful about liking and commenting the videos. I hit my 100,000 goal uh, yesterday, and now we're up to like 128,000 views. And so that was 9 days after I started my channel, I hit 100,000 views, and that was so much more than I had expected, and I'm so happy with how it went. Thank you all so much, and again, please like and subscribe, and if you want to see more builds, you can go to my website at thehealthygamer.com.